All right, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, didn't find shit to do last night. We ended up just coming home and going to sleep. He wants to go find food, so that's what we're gonna go do. I feel super depleted and tired. Um, I don't think I ate enough yesterday. We got like 30,000, walked like 14 miles. Yeah. So today, just a little bit of a cheat meal. Look at that thing. Look at that pretty It looks amazing. It looks phenomenal. Mm. Is it good? Hard not to eat. <laughs> We, we weren't even trying to come here. This There's a famous market in Spain, and this is it, I think. <laughs> we're not sure, though. We think so, because people are taking photos of it. Everybody's so. taking photos of it. So we were looking for the market, and it was right next to our hotel the whole time. There you go. The amount of people filming in here is insane. It's like, um, it feels like it's like a, a vlogger convention or something. Everybody's like filming their YouTube videos of the market. Got some dragon fruit. Hi guys, getting my protein on this trip has been kind of a pain. So I just got a giant piece of steak. It's been sliced up for me. The meat here is amazing, so I think I'm just gonna start coming here every day for lunch, getting my protein in for the last couple days. Might even come back for dinner and just get more steak, honestly. It was like 10 bucks, and that's a ton of steak for $10. Nothing's better than like fruit and fresh meat, and you can get that in abundance here at the market. Hi guys, welcome back to the gym. Hitting a little bit of shoulders today. Getting hella veiny. I'm actually really enjoying working out out here. I've been eating, I've been well within my calories like every single day, except for today was like a cheat day. Obviously I had the croissant way over, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. We're back at it, let's go. There we go. All right, we're heading to the Gothic Quarter to go check out this uh, museum of art. Um, there's like a million museums here. This one had 4.5 stars though. I don't think it's a very big museum, but highly rated. So we're gonna go check it out. And it's like super cheap. It's like four euros to check it out. Yeah. And then there's a uh, there's one about illusions that had pretty good ratings too. Kind of want to see that one. Like a little piercing store. It was like uh, right next to our uh, apartment. Hotel. Or our hotel. They had a bunch of cool little piercings. I wanted to switch mine out. Yeah. Got a little. Uh, Little dangly snake. It's kind of cool. dope. Yeah, it's kind of dope. Um, I'm gonna swap it out. Get something new. You know what I'm saying? Just switch up the vibe. All right, guys. Quick update. We are actually going to the Museum of Illusion instead, and the reason why is because we're we're 300 feet away. We went to Google Directions, and it was right here. The other place is a 14-minute drive, and we're just walking everywhere, so that's probably like a, what, 20, 30-minute walk? 30 or 45. Probably 30, 45 minute walk. So at this location, it's literally just paintings, and it's um, it's fun because they give you a place to stand with your camera to, to illustrate the illusion. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they actually turn out pretty good. Some of them are really good. Some of them are not that good. Some of them are good. Some of them are not. But that's how illusions are. Um, the other museum we're gonna go to later on, maybe. It's uh, a different location. I just didn't feel like walking there. Like, it's five minutes away. We're like, eh. <laughs> I don't know. You also get upside down, and I'm kind of just like, oh. You don't actually stand upside down. It's an illusion. <laughs> you goofy ass. <laughs> so funny. Oh, you're not gonna make it. <laughs> it like actually collapses. <laughs> All right, guys, just got out of the Illusions Museum. It was fun. We're gonna go to um, a more traditional art museum uh, tomorrow, I think. I do want to see some of the more traditional, like, actual historical shit here. It's one of the reasons I love Europe is because there's a lot of history. Uh, I just checked my uh, insider website. I'm at 32 sales on the season, which means I'll hit over 40, probably 45 before summer starts. And for a summer sales office for selling smart homes, that means I'm on track without any recruits to break over 200,000 this year in personal commissions. Sheesh, there you go. So I should be tracking for like 400 grand this year pretty easily. Um, yeah, yup. 
Money's not everything, guys, but it does make a big difference. It's what allows you to come out here and do stuff like this. Go to any restaurant you want. Like the restaurant tomorrow is 250 to a person, um, and I can easily afford it. And it's because of all the hard work that I put in um, back in America. You know, back in the off season, back in the summertime, working when I don't feel like it, so that I can do things that other people can't, like go to Paris, go to Barcelona, go to any restaurant that I want to while I'm here. Go eat out for every single meal, not even worry about it. Like, that's the type of stuff that um, I get to do because of what I sacrifice. So, I would highly recommend that if you're not in the position in life that you don't want to think, if you're not in the position in life that makes you happy, look in the mirror, identify what you could be doing better. We all know where we're dropping the ball. You know what I mean? If you don't look the way you want to look, you could always clean up your diet more. You could always work out harder. There's always that next level to tap into. So I would just ask yourself if you're not quite there yet. I mean, I have I have that next level I want to tap into too. I'm nowhere near where I want to be in life. But um, if you're trying to get to even where I'm at, all you got to do is just get more disciplined. I promise. It is not that complicated. And learn something like sales. It'll definitely pay off. But anyways, we're going to get some food. Is it a glass bottle? It freaking tastes amazing. I've never seen this in the US, actually. No, I've only ever seen the original Coke. That's way better. Way better, right? Yeah, I know. Like it's night and like day difference. Surgery. Also, this fruit I got the market. Amazing. Holy shit. All right, guys, we are headed off. We're gonna go find some food. We're just popping into random souvenir shops. This kid's uh, ADHD. <laughs> First gelato down. First. Stay tuned for the next. Uh, Very how, soon. how many do you think you could pack in tonight? Like honestly, if we had a challenge. Are we, we talking one? scoops or cups? <laughs> oh, cups, dog. Cups only. Cups, two scoops each. I'm doing four tonight. No 40. matter what. Did you hear that? <laughs> 40. 40. 40. We're going to make it happen. Stop, I'm not going to lie. We found a good story. It's actually pretty tough. Guys, check this out. Sweatpants shorts, always a must. <laughs> so we found some drinks. The and some food. Had. First official vlog pizza review. Yeah, yeah, let's see. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. One bite. Let me get a new slice here. All right. All right, how's, it, how's, how's the flop? Here. How's the undercarriage? Flop is good, however, undercarriage not as burnt as I would have liked to have seen, but we're drunk. Smog and Caleb Portnoy, let's see this. Did you just fold it? I don't think you're allowed to do that in the pizza reviews. <laughs> no. I'm not from Philly. I think it's a Chicago thing. Oh. You gotta take two more bites and then judge it. Cause he always says one bite, then he takes like seven bites. Well, one bite of each. He's like one bite, you know, bite, you know the rules. He eats like the whole fucking pizza. One bite of flavor, one bite of crust. <laughs> Not a ton of crunch. I'm going six three. Really? That was Boom, stamped right here. <laughs> Let's go. All right, what do you think, Bella? Pretty decent. I think it's really good. I really like the crust. Yeah, it looks good. It looks fire. I wish I wasn't allergic to cheese. This the would cheese actually. Cheese is really good. Yeah, this would actually kill me. This would hospitalize me potentially. Oh my. All right, catch you guys later when I'm not in misery. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Gelato.